gorgeous, baby. You're gorgeous. This is the Josh Podcast Podcast Show. The anti-podcast podcast on God and man. The show that everybody's talking about. The show that will become a necessary part of your weekly mental diet. The show that picks up where joshrolf.com leaves off. The show title that uses the word podcast four times. <laughs> Introducing your host, Josh Rolf. Hey there, everyone. Hello. Hope you are doing well today. Because it is a great day. It's a great day to be alive. I'm coming to you today from a hotel room. Again, not the same hotel room as last week. This is a different one on the other side of the country from where I was last week. But it is the last hotel room I have to stay in in the year 2016. And that is a wonderful blessing. I get to stay with my family every night for the next little while. So that's a good thing. I don't want to get out my public schedule to the paparazzi who are listening to this right now. I know how you guys are. You don't, you're relentless and I need some privacy from now and then. So from now and then every now and then my brain is not working right, right now. If you can tell, I have a little, um, I lost my voice a few days ago. And so now I'm, you know, recovering from, I guess this is called a cold. Uh, It's gone through the family. I have a child in preschool who is in Petri dish school, the, the type of school where you just pass around germs to one another. That's the early stages of life. That's what, that's what we do. So last week, I tried out something a little different. I offered the podcast game. And I don't know that there is another podcast game out there. Like one where you have to, you know, like mine, where you have to listen for a word. And then you have to comment on my blog to show that you, in fact, listened. You know what the, when the word is. And, uh, so I tried this out last week and not knowing that there's anything else like this out there, my guess is there is nothing out there that is as, uh, exciting. And, uh, so as I said last week, I was in a hotel and I had to drive, I was within driving distance of my home. It was just uh, three and a half hours drive from my home. So one of those areas that's not, you can't take a plane because you're going to be gone just as long either way. So I drove. And um, on my way home, I thought I'm going to listen to my podcast, see if it turned out right, and also play my own game. I was very excited to play this game because recording it is one thing. Actually playing it is quite another. So I was driving back home and playing my own game. Oh, and there was some behind the serious behind the scenes with this. So that night I recorded. It was very late. And I went to mix it down because I have to convert these files into an MP3 file that you can listen to. You're welcome. And I was converting it and it took so long because I wanted to make the episode three and a half hours long, 3.3 to be exact. And so the product after this, like, 20 minutes or half hour of waiting for it to to uh, download or convert to an mp3 um, the final the fi- that's a train passing do you hear that yeah this mic can pick up everything we're going to talk about that in a second 
I uh, I had the um, where was I? Uh, oh yeah, the three point three hours. So I did a three point three hour episode. The problem was it was a hundred and eighty five megabytes in in size, and I thought for anyone who's on a data plan who's streaming this uh, without a Wi-Fi connection whose plan is somewhat limited, I always seek to please uh, those of my listeners who are on a budget. And so if, if that is you, then I spared you from having to have a 3.3 hour episode. I wasn't going to be cruel and have the word appear at like our uh, three minute, minute seven you know, I wasn't going to do that. I was going to still have it very early on, but still have a 3.3 hour episode, which I thought was hilarious. And you all know that that's my objective is to be absolutely the funniest podcast that you've ever listened to. So I did it. I did the 3.3 and I thought 185 megabytes. I can't do this to people. So uh, I'll, here's the compromise. I'll make it less than an hour, make it 45 minutes long, which still is kind of funny. Not nearly as funny to me. And did I say that? I want the podcast to be the funniest podcast to me. That's really what I want. So I made it 45 minutes long. I put the word in there. Um, oh, here's another behind the scenes. I hadn't recorded the word. So I did all this and then I, I realized I didn't record the word when I had the nice mic hooked up and everything. So I had to record it through my computer mic and my computer mic is inferior to this one that I'm using now, this Sennheiser special. And, uh, I, I recorded it through the computer and I had to like mix it a little bit so that the word that was part of the game would sound uh, half decent, but it didn't really sound great to me. So that was a bummer. One last behind the scenes comment. I'm glad I re -listen. I don't always re-listen to my episodes. This one was a little different because I haven't recorded using this mic before uh, in a hotel room. Oh, actually I have. It's It's been a couple months though. And I don't think I'd listen to that one. So I listened to this one, wanting to hear the quality of it. I always like to hear, like, in my car. I want to turn up the volume. I have it, like, at 21. And I want to be able to hear it just as loudly as one of the more professional podcasts. So that's a little thing I do. Just to make sure that the volume works. Because early episodes of this podcast, you have to, like, crank up just to hear. Because I didn't know how to mix it right. So still being an amateur podcaster, I am still learning the art uh, and, and trying to get the mixing right. Anyway, so I'm listening, and at the very end, it just kind of cut out. And at this point, it's like 12, 18 hours since I had recorded. I would recorded the previous night. Now it's the next day, afternoon. And I had like totally missed an entire part that I had ended with originally. And then when I was going to put in the word, I thought, oh, I'll cut it here. And I never pasted it back in. And already at this point, checking my stats, how many people had downloaded my episode, there were a significant number of downloads. So for those of you who listen to the podcast, as soon as it's released, Last week, you missed the last segment. Now, if you went back now and listened to it, you wouldn't think anything of it. If you listened at the time, you probably thought, oh, that was weird, just kind of breaks off. And I was so disappointed. I dr And I'm driving. And I didn't want to stop because I wanted to get home. So if I'd stopped, it would have taken me like 20 minutes to put this word back in. Have I been recording nine minutes already? <laughs> This is the worst podcast. It is the worst podcast. Anyway. 
So not thinking anyone would actually listen for the word, um, I did. And I was pleasantly surprised more than I was enthusiastically surprised to find that a listener actually commented on my blog and typed in the word. And instead of typing the word, they typed the symbol that this, that represents this word. And I was like, wow, the only thing missing listener, as you call yourself, the only thing missing was the time that this was, is listener alien in pajamas? That's my other question. Is alien in pajamas listener? Because the person, they put their username as listener when they type the symbol representing the word that I said as part of the game. Uh, it was um, thrilling to get your response. So listener is the winner. And because you did not leave a valid email address or address or fax or way of contacting you, I am unable to award you the prize that I was going to give the listener who played the game successfully. So congratulations though. This is your prize. Congrat. I'm thrilled that someone played the game. And uh, if anyone else played the game, I did talk to a couple people who listened and were not uh, super impressed. They were like, do you know you had a podcast? It was 45 minutes. I had a guy text me. He was like, Josh, your podcast has like a ton of silence. I said, did you, it was part of a game that I talk about. So it proved that he, he doesn't even listen to the pot. He listens in the background, but not again. That is the great way thing about podcasts is that you can do that. You can listen to it in the background. I think you just like my voice. My boss calls my voice soothing because they used my voice for a video uh, that was played recently at our big conference last week. And uh, he's told me this several times now that it's gotten into my head that, what, I have a soothing voice? Because no one's ever really said that before. Anyway. Listening to my podcast last week on my drive back home terrified me. Because there was something else. Not only did I forget that part that I ended up copying back in. So if you listen to it now, you'll hear that part. It's like the last minute of the podcast before the silence. So it's like at minute 11 or 12 or somewhere in there. I was listening to the podcast and I heard something that troubled me. And that now is the reason that this episode is called saliva. Now, when we talk, there's a lot going on in our mouth. And I think the mic that I've used previously doesn't pick up all of the internal sounds of the juices flowing in the mouth like this mic did last week. Now I'm listening to myself right now. I have headphones on and I just swallowed. I don't know if you heard that. I don't know if you can hear the, the, the sounds and I'm a little sick. So I've got the dryness going and I hate that sound. I've, when someone says, uh, do you need a drink of water? It's because you're, you know, you're sounding kind of gross to them. You're sounding like they're hearing too much of the saliva because someone who's very dry mouthed, they make that sound and it's just nasty. So, you know, there's something about hearing someone else's saliva when you, when you hear the sound of it, that is kind of troubling. And, uh, so that's the purpose of this episode is just to mention that and to apologize to you that you have to hear 
my select. It probably depends on the mic you use or the headphones you used when you listen to it or if you hear it now. Could have to do with mixing it down into the MP3, that the MP3 kind of picked it up and accentuated the saliva sound more. It may be my car speakers. I mean, there's a lot of ways to listen. And uh, hopefully it was bearable to listen to. And uh, But I did want to draw attention to it because that's one of my life gifts is drawing attention to my weaknesses and flaws, imperfections. And it's called self-deprecating humor. And then there's just plain self-deprecation where you're just constantly attacking yourself. It's probably not healthy, but it could be. They could write books about this someday. They could listen to this and make me like a study of uh, self-deprecation and how it actually worked, how I made it work. I lived a healthy life, beating myself up, blooding my own nose. Anyway, um, (coughs) (coughs) that's probably my cue. Good night. Have a good day. I hope you have enjoyed this. And I hope you don't think about saliva when you hear people talk. But I was actually just watching TV uh, and heard a guy talking into a microphone and I could hear the I could hear the saliva. I could hear the juices flowing. So I think it's something if I paid more attention to, I would hear in others. Uh, But I don't want to draw attention to this, but I am because it is a human topic. We're all humans. We all produce saliva. Oh, my sister. Oh, I should find that text. She has a disease. My sister has a disease. Let's see. What's her name? Saliva. Can't find it. I wonder if it was on my laptop. It was like way back in the... I'd have to scroll forever to find it. I'm going to scroll for a while. Let's see. Oh, it's gone. I think they archived it. My sister has some kind of a disease where her mouth doesn't produce saliva. And mine, it's like overflowing. When I lived in Portugal and trying to speak Portuguese... The, the Portuguese language draws out more saliva into my mouth than English. And all right. See, I heard that a little bit. I heard my, yeah. Um, there was something about port. So genetically, somehow I was given this uh, overproduction of saliva while she was given an underproduction of saliva. And a lot of people say that we look alike, that we have a lot of the same characteristics. Uh, and who, who would have thought that to be so much alike, other than one being a man, the other a woman, that we would have this biological... Uh, difference between the two of us where one produces a lot of saliva the other does not and I wonder if that I haven't really asked her too much about it like if it affects her taste or talking if she produces other sounds like what's the non-saliva way of talking you know no one talks about that so there's a lot to learn in life and uh, that this is one of the things. So uh, with that, I wish you all the best. Until next time, adios. Or as they say in Portugal, adeus. Thank you for listening to the Josh Podcast Podcast Show, the anti-podcast podcast on God and man. For more information, visit joshpodcast.com. 
Follow Josh on Twitter at Josh Rolf. That's Rolf, R-O-L-P as in podcast, H. Now go and have the best day and night ever. And have fun. Oh, oh, oh.